All right, guys, welcome back to Sentinel Definitive Edition Brook City Renegades content. We are going to be battling out this game. We're playing against Apex, the werewolf chieftain, with his two buddies, Flint and Gumbo, that came from the setup. He's got 50 health, 25 and 23. They almost add up to his entire health pool, which is frightening. Uh, we've got, I'm playing Alpha and Setback. Bride is playing Expatriate and Mr. Fixer, and we're battling it out on Diamond Manor. So I'm going to take charge of running the boss deck, and Bride's going to take charge of running the Diamond Manor deck. I'm preferring two players to have one person run each of them. It allows for longer concentration, but also not too much on one particular person. Just going to tweak these over to give us a little bit of room, so we have room for the Diamond Manor deck to be able to play this game. Draw yourself out four cards from each deck, and you're ready to start. Then you have to decide what player is going to go first from the from the rest of the game. I feel like Alpha would be. Ugh, the first player. <laughs> Alpha would be the first player. Alpha's gonna jump on it, and we're gonna go expatriate fixer and then back to setback. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then play the boss. So the boss will do its turn. Start phase. Apex is not the werewolf card with the highest HP. Some symbol. It has a oh, flippin'. Flippin'. Oh, if he doesn't have the highest So if he doesn't have the highest HP, he flips. Otherwise, Apex regains a X HP where X is the number of werewolf cards in play. Okay. Okay. So he does not have the lowest, or not, he's not, not the highest. <laughs> Minus one damage dealt to Apex by targets with fewer HP than this card. Plus one damage dealt by Apex. Yeah. Is that right? So he then plays the top card of his deck in his play a card phase, which is going to be Werewolf Among Sheep, one shot. Apex deals each non-villain target two melee damage, which is three, and four to Alpha, who is in Nemesis. It's mean right off the start? That is mean right off the start. Also, it's just a wolf among sheep, not a werewolf among Did sheep. Did I say a werewolf among sheep? <laughs> All right, whenever a target is destroyed by this damage, Apex regains 4 HP. Wow. H HP. Okay. Put that in the discard pile. In the one shot. So now it is the end of phase turn. So end of phase is going to go from left to right in order the cards were played. So Apex is going to start, and he's going to say, Apex deals the hero target with the highest HP, H minus 2, which is 2 melee damage. So which is going to be 3, because he has plus 1 damage dealt. Did we apply that? We so that card? Yes, we did. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So he is doing the hero turn with the highest HP. So I have 28 and 27. 26. So it will be her. He's going to do 2 plus 1 plus 1 because she's the nemesis. So 4 more damage over to Apex. Ouch. Putting her down to 24 to Alpha. 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 Alpha by Apex. Okay. Uh, Apex deals each werewolf card other than himself 1 melee damage. Plus 1. Plus 1. So 2 melee damage to both of the other werewolves. Interesting. Alright, counters? Counters are over here. So he has minus one damage taken by targets with fewer HP than him, but we do not have there. The boss does not have fewer HP than him, so it's going to deal two damage to him, putting him at 23. And that means none of us have lower HP than him, so he doesn't have that effect at all. Yeah, I just put it on there to remind us that he has an effect that he has a damage reduction thing. So does he. Oh, very good. I should have read that far yet. Yeah. So both of them have the same effect. Werewolves are strong against people that are weaker than them. Okay. Okay, so his end of turn is done, but we'll go over to Flint. Flint. This card deals the non villa target with the highest HP, 27. Yep. Four melee damage. Wow. They hurt. So why does he damage his own werewolves? My guess is because he's the king by right of claw, he has to beat up uh, the other werewolves to stay powerful right. and assert, your dominance. assert his dominance Very over good. his minions. And if he's ever the weakest, he's no longer king of claw, and he flips, mm. right? All right, all right. I think that's the idea. Yep. Uh, this card deals the non-villain target with the highest HP, three melee damage. So that is going to be Fixer. Highest again? Yep. Okay, three? Three. When this card deals the target with the highest HP, or, well, then this card deals the target with the highest HP, three damage, which will now be Patriot for three. Wow, that's a lot of damage in one single turn. These guys are brutal. All right. Cool, okay. cool, now we get to go. <laughs> now we get to go. Apex is going to go into this starting off. Let's see. Okay, that seems decent. So I will play that. 
I guess we have to whittle down some of these other werewolves first? Yes. Okay. So let's try and take out Gumbo, because he deals three and then three, so that's six damage. Okay. So I'm going to hit him with his effect. This is an ongoing effect when I play it. After this card is played, Alpha deals one target, two melee damage. So I'll put him up to four damage taken. And then I have a reaction. When I get hit, I deal two damage to the attacker. Now I'm going to use my power. I either discover one aspect card or I get one target, two melee damage. I feel like discovering aspect cards is quite important to this character, so I'm going to try that out. Discover is revealed from the top of your deck until that type of there are the indicated cards are revealed. Put them into your hand. Oh no, discover. Play the cards in the order they were revealed. Okay, so I'm looking for an aspect. Suddenly, ongoing. One shot item. One shot. One shot. Ongoing aspect. There we go. Shuffle the other cards back into the deck, and then play the cards that were revealed. All right, so this is my aspect. It is Blood Curdling Howl. Ongoing aspect. Alpha, on the start of my turn, Alpha deals one target, one Sonic damage. Destroy one ongoing card in that target's play area. End of phase, if there are three or more aspect cards in play, Alpha deals the target with the lowest HP, one melee damage. Okay. So too many aspects and she kind of goes crazy and starts probably hurting your, her friends. Okay. Um, but that is not the case right now. I only have the one, so we are good to go. She is done. Let's go to next picture. All right. Okay. I'm going to play one shot this time. Discover a gun or ammo card. Discover is real, 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 okay. Equipment or ammo. Shuffle these back in, or just yeah, shuffle them back okay. in, okay. and then play. Is that? That's a one shot. Oh no, that's that, that 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 But if I don't have a gun to play it on, you can't I can't load it. So it's just sitting there now. One hero character may deal one target three melee damage. Um, you would deal four if you hit another werewolf. If right? I hit him. Oh, if you hit him. Does not really matter who right now. Okay. I'll just. You want to do it? One, two, three. Three? Yep. A second hero character may regain two HP. Who's lowest? Uh. You are. Now, does it say. If it says a second hero, does the same hero. A second hero has to be different. I thought so. Okay, then set back and regain it. Two. Is it four damage taken? You did how much damage? Three? Set back and regain two. Yeah, that's obviously set back. And then a third hero may salvage an item. Salvage is from the trash. trash. We don't have. None okay. of us has trash. Darn. Okay. okay. All right. Now that's in the trash. Now that's in the trash. And then I will use my power. Expatriate deals one target, two projectile damage. I'll hit him again. Couple again. Change that to a five. And I may play an item. So here's my gun. And any ammo or card in play, so you don't have to attach it. Okay. Gotcha. Well, that makes it way better. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. That is my turn. I draw a card and end my turn. Okay. Fixer. Fixer. Okay. I'm going to play one shot. Charge. Draw two cards. Mr. Fixer deals one target for me. damage. Back to him? Yep. Now a thought that we have to think about, we need to keep Flint lower HP than all of us as well. Okay. Uh, he's higher HP than you right now, so it's better that you hit this guy for four. Okay. But keeping him lower makes sure that he still doesn't get that bonus of reduced damage. So well, now I can use a power to deal two melee damage. So should I hit him for that? You're one? still doing reduced damage, so. You do reduce damage to him because he almost oh, because gets HP. Lower. Okay, so, so I'll, I'll hit him a step back. Again. Okay, so I'll hit him again for two, and I may collect a tool card, so that's searching my deck. Oh, so this is a search, so I can pick any tool that I want. I'll just take that one because I have two other different ones in my hand. So then I will draw my card and then my turn. Alright, that means setback gets to go. 
So this guy is at 16 health. So if I can deal 7 damage to him, we can kill him. Which would be better than hurting Flint, but if I can't deal 7 damage, I should try and get Flint to keep a lower HP than us. Right. What is Burr? Put the indicated card on the bottom of the associate band. Hmm. Can you... Are you capable of destroying ongoings? I don't think so yet. Ah, uh, yes, next turn I can. Next turn you can? Okay, so I could bury him, which puts him on the bottom of Apex's deck. But, before the start of my next turn, we'd have to destroy this, or else we'd bring a new target. What do you think? That's equivalent of 7 damage right now, but it would undo your turn. Can you do any damage to him? I don't know. Well, this is gonna be random. Oh. Random at Flint. Random at Flint. Alright, we'll see. Okay, push your luck. Play the top card of your deck. Boom. Ongoing. Unlucky. After this card is played, destroy one environment card. There is none. The start phase, on the start of my turn, I would play the top card of the environment deck from now on. Okay, now I can play the top card of my deck again. Bam. After this card is played, either bury one, okay, I'm doing it. Bye, Gumbo. Gumbo gone. He's not gone, he's just on the bottom <laughs> of the deck. He's gonna come back. All right. Play a top card of my deck. Boom. Each hero draws a card. Okay. Did you realize he draws a card? Just? Yep. Ooh, this will be nice. Okay, I think Fix is the way to go with this. Destroy up to three unlucky cards. I'm going to destroy both. Okay. Destroying both of them allows one ally, each time you do one ally hero, draw one card and plays a card. So Fixer, draw a card and play a card. So do I have to play the card that I draw? No, it could be a different card. And I'm going to do it to this him again, or somebody else. We'll see if you can play like a style or a tool. Oh, it's just irreducible, and now I have a- the damage of any is irreducible, and now I have a reaction where I punch back. If when I you get it? Okay, yeah. okay. Do you have another card you could play that could deal a decent amount of damage? Uh... Although my damage is irreducible. Yes. So, three damages. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it to Alpha. So Alpha's gonna draw a card and then she can play the card. I think I'm gonna do this one. Okay, Furious Slash. Discover, discover one aspect. Limited. Go. Powerful freak. All right. Alpha deals up to X targets two melee damage each for X of the number of aspect cards in play. So there are currently two aspects. So she's dealing two targets, two damage each. So that is two damage to Flint and two damage to, or yeah, two damage to Apex because it's plus one minus. One. So two to each. Cool. Now I have minus one damage taken. All right, so that is the end of Serendipity for Setback. Now Setback can use a power, and I will play the top card of my deck. Bam, each hero target regains two HP. Oh, okay. All of us regain two, that's good. I don't have any unluckies to destroy to let us use powers. It's okay, he had a good turn. <laughs> it was a good, good turn, turn. good turn, yeah. All right, so now it is Diamond Manor. 
Okay. Balov's clock. When this card is destroyed, go back to the start phase of the current turn. Okay. End phase. If this card is not in the environment play area, destroy this card. I don't know. Alright, cool. Well, it's there. So, that's it. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. But isn't this the start phase of the current turn? End, end phase of the current turn. But when this card is destroyed, go back to the start phase of the current turn. Yes, yeah, so if so I destroy it yeah. with a card, then it goes back to the start of my turn. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah round, turn. Yes. Right? Okay, alright, cool. Okay, back to Apex. Back to Apex. So Apex is going to check. He is not the werewolf with the lowest HP, so he is going to do a start of phase, or no, he's going to play a card. A new werewolf, Chell. Definitely feel like we have to wear, whittle him down a little bit more than I was expecting to. These guys have a lot of health. That's a lot of health. All right. So Chell is has the same effect with the minus damage if you're lower HP than her, so we have to watch out for that. That is it for his play cards, so now it is his end of turn. Apex deals a hero target with the highest HP, H minus two, so two damage. 27 on setbacks. Two damage to setbacks. Apex deals each werewolf card other than himself one melee damage. So he's dealing two because it's plus one for all of his damage. So two to him and two to her and then his five. Very good. Now, Flint. This card deals a non villain target with the highest HP. That is currently over at Alpha. Four minus one damage, so three. Then Chell, this card deals each non-villain target two infernal damage. So one to her, and two to everybody else. Not two plus one, but no, two. two. Okay. I'll uh, now, reactions. Reactions. She got hit by this guy, so she punches back for two. She did not have, or she did not have, no, does still have higher health than him. Okay. She deals two damage to him, and you just got hit by Chell, and I got hit by Chell, so each of us deals two damage to Chell. Uh, check reaction, is it the first time? Can only be activated mm -hmm. once per turn. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you hit her back, but I did not. Okay. Cool. Cool. Alright, I'll. So at the start of my turn, Alpha deals one target, one sonic damage. I guess I'll hit Flint. Destroy any ongoings in that target's play area that are Any other start phases? No. So I get to play a card. Let's try this. The Werewolf Within. Play or discover one aspect card. I don't have any in my hand, so we're gonna discover. When you play, do you lose any other aspects? No. Okay. Things just start to get weird once I have three of the aspects. Wow. <laughs> Milling your whole deck? Apparently. I'm going to there. <laughs> okay. Rest, begin. If there are three or more aspect cards in play, which there are, I deal up to four targets, two melee damage each. So up to four, I will deal three targets, two damage each. So I will hit each of them for two. And I still hit the main boss for two because I am his nemesis. 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 I'm gonna discover one more er, aspect because they seem pretty cool. I don't know if I have any more. <laughs> there are only three. Oh, 
good one. Boom. So that is my power was to discover one aspect and put it in play. That is fangs and claws. A plus one? Plus one. Then Okay, four aspects in play. Now it is the end of my turn. Okay, if there are three or more aspects in play, there are Alpha deals the target with the lowest HP, one melee damage. So I believe that is Flint right now. Is it 25 minus 10 is 15, minus 2 is 13, 21 minus 5 is 16, minus 2 is 14. So yes, 13 health is the lowest, it is Flint. I'll deal him 2 damage because of my plus 1. Then, end of phase. If there are a few more aspects in play, Alpha deals the target with the lowest HP, one melee damage, so it's two more damage in. Yep. Next one, if there are three more aspects in play, deal the target with the lowest HP, one damage, which is two. Oh, each of these has that same thing. I just shred whatever lowest HP, and the last one has the same thing again. That's cool. So that was just eight damage to that guy. That's gonna get bad when we kill both of these guys. So Flint has 5 HP left. I am done. And Expatriate King. Draws a card or puts a card from their hand or trash on top of their deck. Do you want anything from your trash? I could have that play the top three cards of my deck then. Cool, take it back. Okay. Second hero may use a power. Does she have a good one that you want to use? Um, my only power is deal one target two damage. Okay, so he would deal three. It's not increased, it's just you're useful. Um, she could shoot that gun you got. Okay, so either play an ammo card or draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. You may activate load without an ammo card in play, so I will activate my thermite rounds. Expatriate deals each non-hero target one projectile damage. It's irreducible, and it's plus one damage. So each non-hero, two. Two. And it's fire. Does fire her well more than regular <laughs> damage? Come on. None of these guys are vulnerable to fire at this moment. It's fine. Okay, two, four, six. Cool. Then destroy the activated ammo card. So. Now a third hero may play a card. Uh, I already gave you setbacks. So oh, right, yeah. Fixer or Alpha. How much health does he have left? He has three. I can kill him. I can kill both. And do Uh, I can kill both. You can kill both. No, I can hit one and destroy one. Do it. Because he has three? He has three. And it's reducible. Okay, so I'm playing this tool. After this card is played, destroy all other tools. I don't have any. Mr. Fixer deals one target three melee damage, irreducible, to Chelf. Chelf. Okay. After Mr. Fixer deals damage to a target, oh, sorry. Destroy that target if it has three or fewer right. HP. So I would have to hit him to kill him. You would have to hit him. Do we want to do that? He doesn't have less than three HP, so it wouldn't kill him. Doesn't, doesn't matter either way. Okay, let's kill him. Actually, I guess it's too late. You already played. Yeah. What? Do you want to kill him? Yeah. Kill him. Okay. So move that damage. Yeah. Read your full card. Read your full card. Before playing it. Very important. Okay, so that was her turn. Uh, now I can use power. There's no. Which is my last power. Because uh, I don't have. Well, I could. You can't use the same gun. You can't use the same gun. Uh, expatriate deals one target, two projectile damage, and then I may play an item. Shell or items. Does he have reduced now? Yes, minus one. So we want to get it low no matter what. It's not reduced anymore though. And yeah, let's deal two. Okay. And I may play an item.
didn't end up playing the ongoing that you thought we had to destroy yet. I, I didn't destroy it. Myself. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm swapping my tire iron for dual crowbars. After this card's played, destroy a lot of tools. Mr. Fixer deals up to two targets, one melee damage each, plus one damage dealt by Mr. Fixer, minus one damage to Mr. Fixer. Plus one. So it's one damage each? Deals up to two targets, one melee damage each, which is plus, plus one. one. So two damage to Chow and one damage to Uh, damage dealt by Nazir this one. No, you get two to each. And then I'm gonna use a power. Mr. Fixer deals one target, two melee damage, which is three, two apex. To apex? Yep. Okay. So we need to whittle his health down, and then I may collect a tool. It was three damage? Yep. Three. I will draw a card in my turn. I'm just reading through my tools, so you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, Chell is at eight health for knowledge. Okay. <laughs> Wrong time and place. After this card is played, I divert one non hero target with 10 of your HP. She has eight, so she's gone. Cool. What was the either? Or I deal up to two targets for your melee damage. Alright. But this is the discover one target from the villain deck at the start of each of my turns. So you want to get rid of it, but we'll see if I get rid of it. I'm going to play the top card of my deck. Alright. That card is the play the top card of your deck card. Three times. Up to three times. I can be least any more. Okay, play. When this card is dis destroyed, discover one lucky card. And I get a new power. Destroy two unlucky cards, and you may destroy one ongoing hero. But I could destroy up to three of them. Alright, card number two. Boom. After this card is played, discard up to three cards. Each time you discard one card this way, one target regains two HP. Sure, I'll discard two to let myself gain a four HP. Line these up the way I played them in the opposite order. Then select one ally until your start phase, redirect any damage that would be dealt to you to that ally. Yes, that would be. Oh, to that ally, the separate call that's actually good. Okay. I'll do it one more time. Pushing my luck. Plus one damage dealt by setback to villain targets. Nice. Start phase. The villain target with the lowest HP deals setback three damage. Cool. Setback is done, and can draw a Okay, environment. The Edifice of Respite. Whenever an ongoing card in this play area would be destroyed, prevent that destruction and put one token on this card. When this card is destroyed, bury a hero ongoing card, one villain ongoing card, and one environment ongoing card. And phase. If there are two or more tokens on this card, destroy this card. Okay, so nothing happens. The environment is just building up. Apex. If Apex is not the wearable card with the highest HP, he is. Oh. Yeah, he's the what? Uh, he should be 4 HP higher. Why? Uh, he was supposed to heal every time, every turn. Oh. By the number of werewolves that were in play. So, two turns went by and he had two werewolves out, so he has gained 4 HP. Alright, he plays a card. That card is an ongoing. Negative two damage dealt to any or damage dealt to and by werewolf cards. And he is a werewolf. Okay. Negative two? Negative two damage dealt to and by. Now is that on top of yes. that? Okay. Start phase, Apex regains HHP, and then destroy this card. Okay, it's not a start. So this is them going into a kind of slumber state. Cool. Okay, his end of turn. Apex deals the hero target with the highest HP. Shoot. Oh, I was supposed to choose. Select one ally until your start phase redirect any damage that would be dealt to that ally to set that. So I'll take all of expatriate set Take it. Uh, okay, so who has the highest HP? It is set back, right? At 27? Yes. 
So he takes zero damage because it's minus two damage. That was uh, we need minus one damage. That was oh, sorry. Are there minus, minus one damage minus dealt? One damage dealt two. Two and by. Oh, two and by. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, right. this back here. Okay, so he dealt zero damage to setback. This one goes shuffle the villain trash into the villain deck and discover two werewolves. Oh no. Let's move this environment stuff over a little bit. Really glad I was daring werewolves. Yeah, I It's just, a lot out. Yeah. <laughs> Tell and Timber. Timber's the new one. Timber! Alright, then he deals that on the one by the S minus one. Oh, he's still dealt. He said that one damage. Because he has his plus one damage. Okay, end of phase here. This card deals each non villain target two infernal damage, which is minus two. So nothing in this guy. When this card deals, or this card deals H minus two non-villain targets with the highest HP, two targets, three damage each, then one damage. Highest HP is going to be one damage to setback, one damage from the five, and one damage to fixer. And fixer slaps back for two irreducible still? Or are you not irreducible? Reaction. Uh, still irreducible from this card, my style card. So it deals one target, two melee damage. Plus one for your... Oh, yeah, my item. Thank you. Okay. Back to us. Sure. Attack by Dire Wolf. Play or discover one aspect card. Let's discover an aspect card. Cards, but that doesn't mean all my end of turn goes off. Mm. This is gonna be really unfortunate. Yep. Okay, end of turn. If there are three more aspect cards in play, yes. Deal the target with the lowest HP one melee damage. The target? Yes, and it is. But he is at 21. Nice. So it is one damage, which is reduced by two, and increased by one, so zero. Okay. So zero damage, zero damage, zero damage, zero damage. Darn! I should have put the card. Okay. Patriot. Put a good deal of silly dog. Hi, silly dog. Yeah, use that power to play another item card, just so I have another. I think you have to just constantly swap tools, it's just how it works. I mean, normally, but I like those things right now, so. Okay.
plus one damage dealt to and by Mr. Fixer. Plus twos. I will use my power to deal one target two, three, four, five damage. Target from the middle deck. Oh no. Be prepared to start that. Okay, that's alright. One target vampire. Vampires and werewolves. Oh, he beats up the other werewolves. Very good. As vampires would want to do. Still like a boss, but that's fine. Very good. I can play a card. Discard the top card of your deck. Bam. One shot. If it's an unlucky or a lucky card, things happen. If it is not, one ally may draw one card and use one power. Fix it. Yes? Can I use a power? Draw a card and use a power. Okay. Well, then that's great. One target. Two. Three. Four. Five. Four, five. Him again? Yeah. Very three. Collect a tool again. I don't think I even have any tools left in my deck. All in my hand. Oh no, they're all in my Okay, so I can either play the top card of my deck, or I could discover two unlucky cards and then destroy one of them. Well, one of my other. Do you feel lucky? I don't. Let's do it. Discover two unlucky cards. Unlucky. Having this card is playing, second might be as one target or me. Sure. Gonna slap this vampire for four, I guess. He hits all of each non vampire target one irreducible damage. It's not that much damage to us. Sure, I'll deal. So it'll be three, it's minus two, so it is one damage to Timber. Let's go. Or four, it's two damage. Okay. Two damage slapped on the Timber. Oh, plus one damage dealt by me two targets, so another damage to Timber. Okay. Now I can destroy one of them. I'm gonna destroy the one to give them more guys. That ended up not working too well in our favor. End of phase. All damage dealt to Fixer will be dealt to setback instead. Okay. So you don't take that plus two damage. Thanks. So you don't have your reaction. Reactions are just but plus right damage, now. two damage from all damage you're going to take, and you're guaranteed to take one irreducible. So, all just right. redirect it all over to me. I'm going to get punched. I'm going to get punched. Let's do Diamond Manor. One shot. Discover an ongoing. Discover a relic. Okay. Playing it in the villain play area. Hmm. Discover one ongoing card. Discover. Discover one relic. Do into the field of play. Yeah, please. No, it's, it's room. Okay, so that's discarded. All right. After this card is played, each target regains two health. Everybody. And then loot it. Oh. If this is played in the villain player, each hero deals themselves two fixed psychic damage. You can't, because it gets redirected to me. 
She has plus one, minus one. Still takes the full. He takes two from you, which is more than two. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. He's under my uh, it says fixed. Oh, fixed. Can't cannot, be cannot be changed. Fixed. It's not on the thing, but we read that. I just don't know if I can redirect it, is what I'm wondering. Oh, interesting. Uh, rule book over there. Check fixed. <laughs> It's not on the back one. It's in the back of the whole paper. It should be the book. Is it fixed? Fixed is not in this book. Is it in the new book? Fixed existed. Not in this. What's the war one? Oh, yeah. Damage can also be fixed, meaning it cannot be increased, reduced, or redirected. Or redirected. So it's not in any of the definitions. So all of us deal two, or take two damage. Then. So, but we heal two damage. But we heal two, so we don't have to take them. How did I end up taking them? I think I know healing. Like, so I should, should go back that way. Okay, good. Okay. Then destroy the skeleton. Okay, what does that thing do? Okay, end of phase. Uh, After this card is played, go That was the healing, way. yeah. Oh, they all heal. Yeah, all of them. Two. One hero may discard up to three cards. For each card they discard this way, one target regains two HP. Okay. Significant cards to discard. They would have multiple cards to discard. Fix it, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. You gotta stack cards you can play. Fine! They discard this way one target. So all on him. All on him? Is yeah. he gonna take all the damage? Mm-hmm. Six. That is the end of the environment turn. The end of the environment. Alright, Apex. Apex goes. So, start of phase. He is not the lowest werewolf, so he regains three HP. If he's not the lowest he regains health? He regains health for each werewolf in play. Oh, I see. Shut up, get off there, please. Ah! Get him. Bad cat. Okay, start of phase. A- Apex regains 4 HP. Still low, yeah. Oh, yeah. And destroy this card. Okay, very good. Gets rid of all that minus 1 to plus 1. Okay. Then, plays a card. Rowan. Same as the other werewolves, minus one damage. Then, Apex deals the hero target with the highest HP, two, three damage. A little two, three. Apex deals each werewolf card other than himself, two million. Next word, Chef. This card deals each non villain target with two in front of each. So that is one, two, three, two to expatriate, zero to Mr. Fixer, and four to Cedric. Then, this card deals the H minus two to two non villain targets with the highest HP for you. Okay, wait. Um, reaction. You did get hit. Oh, I got hit. Reaction. Let's do it as we go, because it makes sense. Yes. Little- so she deals three damage back to Chip. Is it reduced? No. Okay. What do you do? Two projectile damage and draw a card. And you are yep, more or higher than her. Okay. Now, so he, he how does the redirect work? Would the damage dealt increase to me no. transfer? No. no? Okay, no. that's it. Okay. This card deals the okay, so two with the highest HP, three each. 21, 20, 23, 21. So it's the 23, which then gets redirected to him. Okay. For three damage. T 
18, and then her. Three damage, two damage. Okay. This guy deals each non vampire one irreducible infernal damage. Irreducible, but not fixed. So it's still fixed. So it's two damage. Okay. This card deals a non villain target with the lowest HP. Set back again. Okay, so that would have really hurt you with the plus two damage taken, so it's excellent that I ate all that damage. Yeah, yeah thanks, friend. Okay, back to top. Cool. Start a fix. Deal one target, one sonic damage, destroy one ongoing in that fix. I think it might be best to do that. Oh, it's two damage. I'm thinking of doing it as a setback. Oh, but. I'll hit the apex for two. So we get rid of this negative one now? No, that's still one. Oh. He used that more. Oh, oh. Okay. Start phase. Either deals one target two melee damage or deals two targets one melee damage each. I'll hit him for two. So like you need to get him lower than the other werewolves is actually our path to victory because he seems to be lower. Because there are other werewolves. So I assume maybe flipping him will make them turn on him. Maybe. Alright, I guess we're Nope, that was just my starting turn. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Tropic Frenzy. Deal one target, three damage. So I'll deal it to him. Deal the target other than herself with the highest HP, which is still him. Three more damage. My plus one negates his minus one, and then on his uh, what's it called? Nemesis. So it, each of them does one additional damage, so we damage 29. Then, if there are three or more aspects in play, one, two, three. Or deal each target two damage. Two to him and two to everybody else, including the things. But isn't it produced? So it's plus one from this, minus one from that, and then plus one because I'm in this. Right. Okay. So one to each of us? Yes. Uh, two. He still has, he's still getting redirected in the set. Oh, so I don't? So I don't take damage. Okay. So Oh, reach each villain. I thought it was just him. No, each. Okay. Hmm. That's fun. Yeah. Okay, now she's gonna absolutely destroy him. I think. Why? I think he's the lowest. 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, no, she's the lowest. They're both types. They're both at ages. So all of these can hit her. So she's gonna get the lowest. Okay. So that is 2, 4, 6, 8 damage killing. There. She died, a werewolf died, everybody heals four. Okay. Then I can use a power. I'll deal him two damage. Three damage. I am done, I might go back. Um, 
If I could get to destroy my card, that would be great. You want me to destroy an ongoing? If you can give me the destroy an ongoing, so I can destroy one. Yeah. Or if you can give me the play card, I'll take it. Okay, what do you want to destroy? Targeted explosion. Destroy one ongoing or environment card. Okay, so what would destroy one of those two? If this card is destroyed, restart your turn. Unless your power lets you play a card, right? Play an item. Well, play an item, not that. Okay. This is Kahilas. I discard cards. Okay, destroying this would stop me from taking three damage, is what I'm thinking. Okay, do it. But it doesn't, you can't waste some bit of your turn. Whatever. Expatriate deals up to three targets, two fire damage each. Okay, what do you want to hit? Um, they all have minus one? No, only if you're lower than that. I am. You are, yes. So you could hit him, and him, and then it wouldn't have any. Well, I still, I three targets, so two fire damage each. Reduce one. it by one, yeah. So two. Two, who else? Uh, his is still reduced by one. Yes. Hit him. Hit him for one. And then is Rowan or Timber more dangerous? I think Timber. Actually, I think Rowan. Rowan hits the weakest of us? Yeah. Which is gonna kill me and I'm gonna die soon anyways. I think Timber deals more damage. Six. Fine. Well, we want, no, I can't hit both. Okay. Timber's high damage. And then I can use power. Destroy this card. One shot to shuffle my trash into my deck and draw two cards. One ally regains four HP, and you may use power. Four HP plus you twelve. Not absolutely in trouble. I can use power? Yep. Delphi set back to build targets. The build target will take you there. Okay. Do you need another online destroy? Yeah. Oh, so you can play a second card? Uh, wait. Should I play a card? Yeah, okay. you play that. I may collect a tool, not play a tool. Okay. Sorry. Uh, one target, two melee damage. Three, which is three. And you're reducible. Hit the boss. Okay. 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 Draw a card. Draw so twenty-two. We do a little bit more damage. I'm weaker than Timber, and go for it. Yeah. And we'll see what this looks like. Is. Oh, we'll see what your turn. What well, my turn is. Yes, okay. Yes. Um, build, build target with the lowest HP is this guy. Three, nine. Then build target the highest, which is him, because he's four. Then puts me at five. Yeah, you'll get this. Good, thank you. <laughs> no other starter phase, so in my turn, I can play a card. Let's play this. After this card is played, any one a uh, one ally hero may collect one item card. Search your deck for an item card. It's on your pool again. Mm -hmm. 
that smell was once you discover a second one, so discover two. Play them in the old, or discover? Oh, discover is the second. Collect then discover, it's the first play. Just one. Okay, so collect puts it in my hand, then I shuffle. Then you shuffle, and then you flip from the top until the second item card is revealed. I don't know. Put it in the book, right? Oh, both, nice. Okay. I guess I'm gonna be unlucky anyway, so I'm gonna use this to discover two unlucky cards. Discover. Uh, there's one unlucky. There's two unluckies. And they're played in order that they're discovered, so first I do high risk behavior after this card is played, the setback deals one target four damage. So let's hit the boss for three, putting him at 19. So he's lower than Tinder now, which is exactly what we want. Okay, then the second one, after this card is played, one ally may collect an item. Okay, let's just do it to her again. Collect one item card, discover one item card. A second card that can do that same thing? Yep, I guess the same card. Oh, there's another. Right on the top. Cool. Hey, thanks. Now I may destroy one hero ongoing card. I will destroy a cause and effect. When this card is destroyed, discover a lucky card. I reveal cards until a lucky card comes up. Unlucky. Uh, I'm playing it this way because I'm pretty sure this is his last turn, so yep, he might as yep. well go over the bend. Hey, what'd you do? One shot lucky. Destroy one environment card. Destroy up to three unlucky cards each time you do. Either destroy an ongoing or bury a target. Oh, nice. Hmm. Okay. Okay, destroy one ongoing card. So I can destroy that one and get my turn back? Uh, not this one. Oh, this one. This one. One card destroyed, go back to the start turn phase. No, that'd be a check point. I wouldn't do that. Oh, because you would okay, have to go through the start. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um... Destroy this thing. So then it buries a hero ongoing, a villain ongoing, and an environment ongoing. Okay, so it buries that? Yep. And a hero ongoing? Yep, and a villain. There are no villains. Okay, so we will just bury this. Oh, wait. Prevent that thing from destruction. Hmm? Prevent that thing from destruction. It's not destroyed, it's buried. You buried it? Okay. The one that you did. No, no, I destroyed an environment. Yes, okay. So then it doesn't get. When an ongoing card in this play area would be destroyed, prevent its destruction and put a token on this card. Just put one token. Okay. When this card is destroyed, bury one hero ongoing card. So then. No, I was destroying this one. I destroyed this first. Okay, but whenever an ongoing card in this play area. Whenever an ongoing, it's not an ongoing. Oh, it's a relic. Sorry. Destroy okay, that. Okay, okay, destroy it. When this card is destroyed, no, bury I this. Bury that card, bury that card. Gotcha. Okay. They don't have any. Okay. Sucks. It's fine. Destroy up to three unlucky cards. Okay, let's do this. Oh, well, sure, I'll destroy it. I'll bury. Destroy up to three. Each time you do, destroy one ongoing or bury target. Okay, I'll destroy three. I'll bury the vampire. Bury the vampire and Rowan. And destroy this. That one? No. I'll destroy dangerous. Destruction. Okay. Cool.
Nice. That is all of my stuff. I will draw a card, and that is the end of my turn. Environment. After this card is played, move an environment card in the play to the villain area. Hmm. Okay. And discover a relic. cards may deal themselves three fixed psychic damage. If they take damage this way, move a relic card from the environment play area to their play area. So what does the relic do? If there are no targets in this play area with five or fewer HP, move this card to the play area with the lowest HP. And it's each target in this play area deals itself two fixed psychic damage. Move this card to the play area to the target with the lowest HP. So no, we don't want to do that because we don't want that. But it's going to do it at the end. Each target in this player. Yeah, right? I know, but it's going to move. It'll move next to start turn. Yeah. No, and then. No, then move this oh, card to the player. Oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means you move the hits. Right? So, so they deal with themselves to fix second damage? Yeah. But then it gets moved to you. It'll get moved to me no matter what. Right. We might as well hit them first. So. So somebody one, has to deal themselves three. three. I guess fixer. And it's fixed damage? It's fixed. Yeah. Okay, so move, move this relic card to here, and then do that. Okay. So now that... No, that'll happen at their end phase. Is out of the environment. Oh, I see. So their end of turn. Yep. Oh. That's okay. Then they'll move to mine and not hurt them, but whatever. Because it's start phase, it'll end with mine. Oh, I see. It's fine. It just uh, it's gonna move it's to happening right now. Okay, yeah. so... Okay. That is end of... Okay, his turn. Okay. So he is not the werewolf with the highest HP. He has 18, Tipper has 20. So he flips? So he flips. We get to see what happens. Hopefully, when he this flips. is the right side. <laughs> Once and future king, he wants to be king again. Negative one damage dealt to A protects by targets with fewer HP than him, so like the other werewolves. Plus one damage dealt by the werewolf card with the highest HP, Tipper is stronger. It, it's not the start of turn. Right? Play a card. Oh. Discover a werewolf. The werewolf card with the highest HP deals the hero card with the lowest HP three. Okay. Discovering a werewolf. There we go. Flint is back out. Flint is now the highest HP. Alright. The highest HP werewolf, Flint, deals the lowest the target with the lowest HP, setback, three damage. That back is down to two. Good. Okay. Apex. Discover end phase. We are already doing it, right? No, this is another one. Discover another werewolf card. Okay. Left in there? No. They're all on the bottom because I buried them. Ah, right. <laughs> Gumbo. Back. Apex deals each target other than himself to melee damage. Oh, we do not want to do No. <laughs> this is hard. We, we regret this decision. <laughs> so, two melee damage, you said? Okay, so yes, Apex deals each target other than himself, so all of us and all of them, okay. to melee damage. He has no pluses. He has no pluses. Mr. Fixer does. Setback dies. No, setback. Okay, so all the reactions go? Not yet. Two to him, but he is lower HP, so it's only one. Two to him, but he's lower HP, so it's only one. And, he's higher HP. Uh, he's, he's lower lower HP. I see, I see. Apex gains X HP where X is the number of targets damaged. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ouch. Yeah. And then he flips again? He will next turn. I see. It's up to 24. So no, we have to keep the other werewolves lower than him while we're him down because that's a lot of HP. Yeah. 
and it keeps discovering lots of things. Okay, this guy. The non this card deals with the two non-villain targets, the highest HP, three damage each. So three to the two highest, which is alpha for two. Hey, stop it. Oh no, we have to decide on that first. So alpha slaps him back to three for two. He still hit minus one damage taken. My card is lower HP than him, and he's at 24. Okay. So I am minus one. I'm plus one for that, and I'm plus one for Nemesis, so it is three damage. That's three damage for And it is one from this creature. How high is your HP? Okay, just one high. Okay, good. One, and easy or reducible? Uh, yep, yeah, so two. Ah, uh, three. Six. I was thinking if he hit him first, would she be higher than him? But Okay, um, if this card is not in the environment play area, destroy this card. Boom, gone. Okay. Resets when this card is destroyed, resets the turn, back to his start of the turn. Yeah, that was a bad decision. At the start of the turn, he is the highest HP, so he flips. Oh, no, he's not. Still, he's not. Okay. Very much not a good decision. So he's not the highest HP because these guys are all higher, because he's only at 17, so he will. Now, if it's go back to the start phase of the current turn, do these reset? Yes. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Same turn. So you go back to the start phase, but it's not reset. Yeah, turn, right? yeah. Okay. Okay. So at the start phase, you can play the card. Because he's not the highest. The two non-villain targets with the highest HP deal each other they deal each other three melee damage. Okay, so the highest HP is Flint and Gumbo. Each slap each other. Flint slashes, slaps Gumbo for three, and Gumbo slaps Flint for two. Then, if either of those targets have fewer HP than Apex, they do not. So we do not play the top card of the deck. Oh my god, you guys! Next, discover a werewolf. <laughs> what? Oh, that's And Apex deals each target other than himself to melee damage. One, two, three, the mixer. So one to him, one to him, one to him, one to him. Two to her. Then he heals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then this guy goes, and he hits the H minus two non villain targets at the highest HP, which is again Alpha and Fixer for three, so two. So four to Fixer by four. Plus one damage. No. Oh, minus one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now the highest HP takes four, plus one is five. I guess he takes four. Then he deals a non-villain target with the highest HP three. Her. Then he deals the highest HP three, which is her, which would be two. Then she deals the lowest HP, which is Fixer, three, minus one is two. That was a rough, a rough turn. That was a rough turn. Apparently that was a rough turn. Okay. So you just want to go back to the start phase because you were going to die. Yeah. But I died anyways. Yeah. Okay. So they're now done and that was brutal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you come back, Alpha. Hey! Uh, can you... So oh, yeah. Monster, get off. Hey. He wants to be in the game boxes. No. He can't be in the game boxes. <laughs> Alright, sorry. What's next? Ah, uh, my turn. Okay. If I can't get one of them below 7 HP, I'm gonna mull and kill Fixer. Cool. 
That sounds like fun. Unless I play this card that puts all my aspects back into my hand. You should do that. But then I won't do anything this turn. Well, you won't kill me either, so... <laughs> okay. Put any number of aspect cards in play into your hand. I'll take back these. Oh, first I start a phase. I get one target, two sonic damage. I will hit... I don't even know who to hit. I don't feel like we can do enough damage to kill him. But I feel like we have to, so I'm gonna hit him. I feel like we're doing this. We might. We might get wrecked. I'm gonna take back these two. Oh, at the start of I, the alpha deals one target two damage or two damage. So I'll deal another two to the boss. Three, yeah, three because Nemesis. So it'll be the 18. <sighs> then I'll return these two back to my hand by playing this card. Put any number of aspect cards in play in your hand. Then draw three cards. Then there are not three aspects in play. So I don't do the other thing. Then on as my power, I do not want to play an aspect card. So I will deal one target three to the boss. Fifteen. Middle and down lower. Maybe? Okay. We're gonna okay. find out. I am done. Next Patriot's turn. I may activate it. I can use the gun without it, but I'm only dealing one target, two projectile damage. And it's reduced, right? I'm more healthy. But that's still one, two, three, and then plus one. So that's four, and that's two. So. It doesn't activate the second one, right? I can activate loaded. Or I like I just shoot. I still deal the damage. Oh, okay. You still shoot. Yeah. But I only yeah. So you may activate a loader on ammo card in play. Yeah. Then expatriate deals one target, two, three, irreducible. So three irreducible. So that is twelve. And that gets destroyed. And then the second card is expatriate deals one target, two projectile damage. Which one? And I didn't activate another ammo, so that's that. And that is my power. So I draw a card. You know what? deals up to two targets, one melee damage each, which is irreducible, and plus one. And plus one. So, so two damage to him. Okay. Down to nine. And I guess three damage to him. Why, why would it be three? He, well, you have a plus one damage dealt to him. Damage. Oh. Five. Damage dealt five. Ah, sorry. Okay. Then I don't care. Hit any of them for two. Let's just get one more. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it's okay, here it is. Okay, that is my play card. Now I use my power to deal one target three irreducible melee damage. Two plus. Eight, seven, six. I make one tool. Oh, right. 
this arm. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. Six health? Oh no, so it would have been on their turn. It would go to the if if there are no targets in this player, five or fewer HP, if they're burned at the start, move to the, the player with the lowest. That's it. Who wasn't him at the start? I think. Plus. Was it? Yeah. So she also took some damage. I think it was. Difficult sometimes to track all of the things. Yeah. Gotta remember to. I forgot his turn reset and it yeah. did it again. Yeah. Okay, so collect my tool, I draw a card, and end my turn. Okay. End turn. Each target in this play area deals itself two fixed psychic damage. One, two, moves to the You dealt yourself damage. Yeah. I don't understand. You dealt yourself damage, now your reaction kicks in whenever you're dealt damage by a target, and you slap yourself for two. It may activate. Oh, yeah. oh, by a non hero target as well. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Move this to the area with the target below its HP. Still me. No. Yep. Environment turn. Discover an ongoing. Oh, wait, no. Put your health back up. Get right. to rethink. Health back up. Because you're at seven. Yeah. Your start of turn would have happened. There's no targets with five or fewer HP here. Move to the lowest, you're now at seven, so we move back here. It's hard to track this one. It never does the second until it's in an area that has somebody that's below five HP. I see. Okay. You weren't at lower than five at the start of your turn, so. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tracking things. Him. <sighs> a hero. No. Yep, he's down, but he still gets his thing. Oh, but he didn't do it at, on his turn. He's doing it at the end. It's now his turn after victory. It goes last turn. Okay. One hero may draw take their draw phase. One hero target regains two HP or reveal the top card of a hero deck, bury it or play it. I feel like if we reveal Mr. Fix's top card, maybe something cool will happen. Yeah, I think Expatriate would be cool. Or we'll draw Fix. You think Expatriate has one shots? Some. Or tools? Because if he plays a tool or a one shot, he gets to do his okay. Reveal it. Ah. <laughs> what? Part of my language. Together. Bury it. Bury it? Bury it. Not cool. Gun punch real hard. Yeah. Alright. This thing. This thing. No sir. Okay. Okay. Discover an ongoing. Ongoing. Discover or when this card is played? No. Okay. Discover Discover a relic. And put it in the mill in player. These go in the discard pile that all get shuffled in? Or just shuffle what you no, want? No, so discover get. first, shuffle. Now discover a relic and put it in his play area. Relic. After a village target is destroyed, put it under this card. If there are no cards. Start page of this card in the hero play area. For a hero card to discard. If there's no villain play area, play the card. Great. Okay. After this card is played, each target deals itself one fixed psychic, one fixed radiant. So before that, this is one and one, and four. One and one. Five. This. What the fuck? Okay. Nothing happens until they're charging up. Jeez. Okay, end phase. Discover a relic. One hero character may deal themselves three fixed psychic damage. If they take damage this way, move one relic from the environment play area to a player area of control. So what does that relic do? To their play area, not a player of control. Go to their play area. So is this something you want to take three to get that? Plus one damage dealt by targets in this play area. We want to just leave it here. So, end phase. One hero may discard two cards. If they do, they may salvage one card or destroy an environment relic card. Which we want to destroy that one. Is that one going to hurt us? Yeah. Would it free it? After a villain target is destroyed, put it under this card. At the start of the villain turn, if there's any cards under this, put it back in the middle. So if we kill any of them, it goes under there and they get through. Okay, okay. So, discard two cards to destroy. Now, let's destroy one target in this play area with three or fewer HP, then move this card to the play area with the target below HP. So, okay. if this stays here, it doesn't hurt us. Okay. So, who wants to discard two cards? Fix or count? So, yeah. Okay. Destroy this environment. 
Oh. Then fear of two. Yes, discard two. I'm destroying the one that makes us draw more relics. Did we get to destroy that one? What type could we destroy? It had to be a relic, didn't it? Oh, one environment relic card. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Okay. So we want to destroy that. Oh, right, that's what you said. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> end phase. We just did that one. That was end phases. And we did that one. And we did that one. Okay. And this one is destroy one target in this play area with three or fewer HP. They have no things. So. Yeah. So it's then. Move this card to the play area with the target with the lowest HP, which is the next. Perfect. Giving the wobbles with the lowest HP. Uh, or yours. No, I have eight. You still have four. Oh, four. Okay. Okay. Their turn. Start. No targets in this play area with fire fear HP. This is not true. Each target in this play area regains one HP. Whenever a werewolf card would be deal melee damage, change the damage to infernal and make it enemies. Two damage to each target, other than himself. <laughs> and whenever we're able to deal damage, we make it irreducible, so we all do two. We'll take two. And not fixed, so he takes three. It is fixed. Oh no, it's so not it's irreducible. Yes. Okay, so who just takes damage? Is the first one to deal damage? Or did the boss? The boss is the one hit this. Kill him before he heals. Okay, you took damage? Yes. You just shoot back at him. You have higher health than he does, and you deal two. Two projectile. So, because I have higher health, I do deal two? Yes, yeah, because it's only minus, and she does the same thing. No, right? I fix her kills it first. But she, he's her nemesis. Come on. He's her nemesis. Fine. She stops at the He doesn't heal yet because he's still dealing the damage, and we're using our reactions on the damage. Yeah! We win! That yeah! was very close. That was extremely close yeah. and very scary. That is a cool boss. Um, I really like the improvements they made to the characters. These guys are feeling a lot better. It I think Setback like has was, the best redesign. Yeah, there's always felt like there was something to do. Um, I didn't really want to change once I got these two things out. Yeah, there's a little bit of that plus one minus one that's so plus good. Plus one minus one and Did you have any other tools that were good? I used, um... <laughs> so use the wrench at one point, this one. Yeah, and then I had this hoist chain. So it says, after this card is played, destroy all other tools, then destroy an ongoing or draw two cards. After Fixer deals damage to a non-hero target, minus one damage dealt by that target until your start phase. So I could have had Control dealing order. negative damage. Uh, the Tire Iron I used once, uh, Mr. Fixer deals damage to a target, destroy that target if it has three or fewer HP remaining. So that was a good one, but it was hard to get them to three health. Um, Mr. Fixer deals up to five targets, one melee damage each, and then change any game text that says Mr. Fixer deals one target to Mr. Fixer deals up to five targets. So it would change your text on that. It would. To be so AoE. So could have done that more often, but I liked the irreducible damage because... And all the minus ones. Yeah. 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 All right. So maybe just in this scenario, Joe Crowbar is just so much better. Yeah. It was a very good setup and there was no real reason for me to change that out. But I always felt like he was able to do something, which previously... Sometimes was... it, yeah. it felt not right. Alright. And expatriate, you couldn't get enough ammo out. You yeah. didn't get enough guns out of the start enough ammo. I really didn't either. get any one shots either. So I got a couple, I guess. 
draws a card or puts a card from their hand from the trash on top of their deck. One hero may use a power, one hero may play a card. Uh, so this is summon a gun, summon your ship, pull your trash into your deck. Discover X ammo, where X is the number of gun cards in play. So that would have been good. And then an ally hero may play the top card of their deck. Um, so, so she I has some stuff in there. Yeah, I didn't get discard up to three cards, summon X item cards. So I've got a few of those and I never drew them. I feel like she, looking at these, she could be a lot stronger than I had her being, and she still felt really good. The interesting thing is dealing with her being enraged by three aspects. Yeah. When she goes three aspects, she starts just destroying low health targets. And in a fight like this, where they're keeping you low health, that's it's dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> but in other fights, it could make the difference. Um, I'd like to kind of explore this environment deck a little bit more and read more about what the different things could benefit us. But it looks like, like once they do something, then they kind of pop over to another play area. Yeah. Very cool. So that was our first playthrough of Rook City Renegades. We're going to keep doing playthroughs and having a fun time playing this game, as well as I think we're going to try and just play through all of the stories for Definitive Edition yeah, for sure. and try and get through every story and beat it, I guess. <laughs> it's part of the problem. Good I luck. think we tried to do Bad Bomber and he destroyed us in the original and then we haven't really played a lot since because we've been really busy. We're going to get back into it because it's fun. It was a good time. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you guys in the next video, probably looking at some of the characters and how they've changed or what's new about them if they're a new character.